Stephen, uh, recently it's been uh, a game of two halves for most of the games we've played. It was no more than today. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, listen, I thought we were very, very good first half and probably should have gone gone in two, three goals to the good. But unfortunately, the minute we just spoke with the players there, like, you know, we're not putting the ball in the net. And ultimately, we're not defending 1v1 situations well enough. Um, yeah, so I suppose that there has the recipe for results like today. Um, yeah, so look, come here. As you say, a game of two halves at the minute. Um, that's the way we performed, I suppose, in the first three games. And we have to find out why we're not why we're not putting in the same performance. It's not through the want of trying. I just we have to find out why we just can't mirror the first half performance. Um, like I think I counted half a dozen chances plus our goal in the first half. And even a two one here. We've a couple of very, very good chances. Um, so yeah, look, it's disappointing. Um, but as I just said to the group of players, we also need to look at the positives. You know, we've had three games and we've had two training sessions to this, and, and this isn't an excuse, by the way, because the players have carried out some of the detail we've asked to really, really good effect, and some of the performances individually have been have been superb. Um, but it's now getting it all to knit together. Um, you know, and look, we've we've three eighteen. 18 year olds on the pitch today as well so that, that that has to be a positive we have to highlight these things obviously we know we've a couple of illnesses and a couple of sickness to, to senior players at the moment um, and a couple of injuries so look we have to manage that um, but yeah certainly I think the first half would give us great encouragement but you know you're coming away 4-1 defeat and it looks like a hammering and equally we could have been 3 or 4 up at half time it's crazy football can be crazy and, and, and can be can be brutal sometimes yeah, I suppose one of the good positives was, was Jack Malone. His performances have been really good in the last few weeks. Good free kick today. And he looked really positive, really impactful in, in going forward. Um, what's your thoughts on his sort of performance in the last few yeah, weeks? Yeah, Jack has been superb since we come in. Likewise, the, the rest of the midfield today, I thought young Isaac Baird was excellent in that holding midfield role. You know, broke play up, carried the ball really, really well, passed the ball really, really well. Um, Matthew Snoddy does exactly what Matthew Snoddy does. Really, you know, really full of energy, gets into really good positions, makes the team tick. So, like I thought, you know, defensively, as a unit, I'm talking like from centre forward right back to centre back at times, we were really, really good and I felt we frustrated a couple at times. But it's them moments when the game becomes stretched and you have players like Conor McHenry one that's a 1v1. There's where we need to be better. There's the finer details in the game that, that we ultimately need to improve on. Um, again, is that a case of stopping him earlier or is that... Yeah, well, like, yeah, we have to find a way. Like, like we, we we talked about how good of a player he is coming inside, you know, and we talked about how we would try and literally be literal and show him to the outside as much as possible. And I felt we didn't do that uh, often enough in the second half, and I suppose the warning signs were there, weren't they? Yeah, um, it's unfortunate that a player like that that you, you can't really can't really get him stopped. Mm. Another another uh, good performance, although it was a. As you say, a pleasure bit of hammer, but certainly a lot of good saves again from Rory Brown. Um, you feel a bit sorry for him sometimes, so when he has to pull off two or three wonder saves and still concedes four. Yeah, but listen, that's his job, he's a keeper. He has to hit the ball out of the net, so, you know, that, that's both ends of the pitch. Gareth Dean made a couple of cracking saves, so, you know, that's his job. Um, you know, we'll praise it because, yeah, absolutely, he made a couple of, of, of wonderful saves, but, you know, that's why Rory's in goals and that's why we rate Rory, but, um, yeah. Yeah, I suppose that's all I have to say on that one. Looking forward then, games are coming thick and fast with the game on Tuesday night, the Middlestown Cup against Dury. Another cup match, hopefully maybe less dramatic than, than last Tuesday's. But what's your thoughts going into that game? Yeah, look, we have to we have to dust ourselves down um, and go again. You know, it's there's a lot of new um, tactical ideas been, been put to the players. Um, and listen, I think the work, do you know what I mean? I think like <laughs> when you watch some of the football we play, and here it's not totally expansive football, by the way. It's it's nice football and it's effective and it's progressive. And, you know, none of our goals have been conceded by trying to play the right way. So we have to, you know, before people jump on that one, you know, I think we need to we need to highlight that, that we've been very effective and we've created a lot of chances based on how we went and playing. It's just the, the smaller details. But the cup game against Newry is another opportunity to go on and build on what we're doing and, and, and hopefully hopefully get another win. Um, I think that's an important an important thing. You know, we stepped into the job where the you know where the team had only won two 
two games out of out of nine. So, you know, we're coming into a team that's been losing games of football and we're trying to shift the mentality um, and how we carry out our performances that we feel might get us more success.